Hey, this is Mike B with X-Force PC. Um, I had a customer that was insisting on a platinum power supply. So he's looking at a 750 watt power supply, like an RTX 2070, and uh, probably the i5-10600. And the reason he said he needed a platinum power supply is he lives in an area with very limited power, like power, I don't know, he's remote or something, and power is just very difficult to come by, and so that he needs the most efficient system possible. And he'd been doing all this research, and he knew that this is what he needed. So I got curious and said, well, let's find out. Is he right? Does it really matter uh, if he has this uber-efficient power supply? So you may or may not know, power supplies are typically rated 80 plus efficient. And there's multiple ratings. There's white, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and titanium. And I may have missed one in there, but I think that's all of them. And of course, the more valuable the, or the metal, I guess you'd say, or the, the further along that list you go, the more efficient it becomes. They're all considered 80 plus efficient but their efficiency curve, because the power supply is most efficient when it's about two thirds loaded. So there's like an efficiency curve, almost looks like a horsepower curve if you're looking at a, at a car automobile. Um, the efficiency curve will be higher on the, let's say platinum versus a bronze or a white or one that's even uncertified at all. So I did a worst case scenario. We've got this EVGA 750 watt power supply. It is not, rated 80 plus even. It's only rated at 75% efficient. And what that means is 25% of the power you put into the power supply is wasted due to heat. Uh, and this is true with any power supply. You're going to lose some power due to heat. Uh, but typically power supplies are about 85-ish percent efficient. But this is rated at 75%. This is a worst case scenario. And then we've got the platinum one down here. This is a has a 10-year warranty, and it is platinum rated, uh, 80 plus, and it costs about three times what this power supply costs. So let's find out what that does for our power consumption, um, because the platinum rating, yes, it makes it means it's more efficient, but there's other things too. It also means it's a higher quality power supply, probably will last longer two-year warranty, 10-year warranty, things like that. So it's not all about the efficiency, but the, the rating of platinum versus bronze or whatever is about the efficiency. So let's find out how many watts this power supply draws, and then we'll test this one. Okay, so we're back here. What I'm using is IDA64 to induce a 100% load on the processor. And then I'm using uh, the Heaven Benchmark to put 100% load on the graphics card. And it's Heaven Benchmark's taking a while to load because I've got 100% load on the processor right now. It's doing a lot of work. But now it's running. So I've got, I'm using something called a kilowatt. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, I'll maybe put a picture up of one. But you plug it into a power outlet and it can tell you the power draw at the wall socket. And that's what this customer cares about. He, he doesn't want it to draw any more power than necessary. So we're using the supposedly inefficient 75% um, rated efficiency power supply. This one here on the top. And let's see how much power we're drawing. We are drawing the highest number I've seen is 433, 435. So I'm just going to watch it for about 10 seconds and pay attention to the biggest number I see because it fluctuates between about 400 and 435. 435 is the highest I've seen. If I had to say it probably averages about 420. So we've got a 2070 Super. And we've got an i5-10600K, both running maxed out. I have, re I have removed the power limits on the 10600K, so it's not limited uh, into how much power it can draw because we have a high-end cooler, so it's pulling you know, over 100 watts, it should be at least. Okay. 444 was just the highest number I saw. 
444. Okay, so we're going to say the highest number I saw was 444 watts. Now I'm going to hook up the efficient power supply, supposedly efficient power supply, and see what we get. Okay, back now. We've got Ida64 running in the background, maxing out the processor. We've got the Heaven Benchmark maxing out the video card. Let's see how much power we're drawing. Kind of curious here. All right. So 404, 404 was the highest number I've seen so far. I'd say the average is about 390. 390 is probably about the average numbers I'm seeing, but I'm going to keep looking at it here. It's dipping as low as 363, 370, 401 we just hit. 402, 403, 406. That scene, I think, puts a heavier load. 405 is the biggest number I've seen. 406, sorry, is the biggest number I've seen. 409. All right, so 409 is the biggest number I have seen here. 409. So that means that we're looking at about a 10% difference here. Um, I believe 445 was the biggest number I saw uh, on the 75% efficient um, power supply, and then 409. Yeah, and you know, that's around about 10% less power at the wall outlet. So if the only reason you're buying a Platinum is to save electricity, you're only going to save about 10% of the electricity and that's comparing it to a worst case power supply. Now maybe let's try a middle case. I'll hook up a uh, 80 plus bronze, which is the most common, I would say the most common power supply that you're gonna find is an 80 plus bronze rated power supply. So I'm gonna hook one of those up since we saw that 10% difference. Let's see how it compares to an 80 plus bronze. Okay, back again. I have now hooked up a 750-watt bronze-rated power supply. So this is an EVGA 750BQ. I don't know if you can see it sitting there on the table or not, but let's see how much power we're drawing. So right now I'm seeing 420 is the highest number. We're averaging around... I hit, we hit 428 just then. We're probably averaging about 420. 430. 420, 425-ish. So the highest number I've seen so far is, I believe I said 430. And yeah, we're probably averaging in the 420s, about 420. The low, do we actually dip down to 394 there for a second, but that's probably because the scene that's being rendered isn't maxing out the GPU. Yeah, we're down in the 300s right now. Now this is the scene that puts a, seems to put a heavier load. Ah, yeah, here we go. 434 is the highest number I've seen. Yeah, so 434 is the highest number I've seen with an average probably around 420. So what we'll do is uh, we'll summarize here in just a moment. Okay, so we're back and I'm here to summarize. So on our horribly inefficient 750 watt power supply, the one that was only rated at 75% efficiency, the max power draw I saw was 444 watts. Um, then you step up or down or whatever to a bronze rated, an 80 plus bronze rated power supply and you gain 10 or lose uh, 10 watts. So that was 434 watts. So from 444 to 434, 10 watt difference. And that equals out to about 2.5% less power. Eh, not really much of a big deal there. Um, then we make several leaps. We leap over, we go from bronze, we leap over silver, gold, and go all the way to platinum. And we drop down to a max power consumption of 409 watts. 
So in a worst case, 444 for that, you know, 75% efficient power supply to the platinum, which is four, consumed 409 watts. That's a difference of 8%, 8%. So this is while under a full load now. Now at idle, you probably wouldn't see that much of a difference. So it's debatable. Uh, this person has a specific scenario where apparently power consumption is just a huge deal. So by opting for the platinum, they're saving about 8% of the power draw when under a full load. For the average user paying three times the price for the platinum power supply, for only that doesn't make sense. Now there are other benefits that come with it. It is a component power supply, meaning you only have to hook up the cables that are absolutely necessary to run the power supply. It is. Uh, it has a fan stop feature where the fan will stop spinning if there is you know, very little load on the system and it has a 10-year warranty versus a two-year warranty. Um, so there are additional benefits besides the fact it's platinum. I'm not forgetting that. But for this particular customer, they were concerned about power consumption, and it looks like it's about an 8% difference.